What's up, everyone? Um, I made a video about this before, but I want to make one again, go into a, a detail about it a little bit better. Um, visualizing your lifts before you do them. I'm going to talk about deadlifts because I'm not going to talk about every lift. And I think deadlifts are a lot more mental than a lot of other lifts are. Um, so basically, you want to know what you're trying, the, the goal weight you're trying to go for like weeks before you do it. Like if you pull 525, say so your goal is 600, and you're working up to 600 over the next however many weeks. Um, so you want to know what your goal is. Um, I'll tell you what I do. Basically what I do is I not only visualize how my muscles are going to feel before I do the lift, but I visualize every single thing leading up to the lift. I visualize the gym I'm going to be doing the lift in, the way the weight's going to look, the way the bar is going to bend, the way it's going to feel in my hands. Um, I figure out the music I'm going to be listening to ahead of time. I figure out the clothes I'm going to wear ahead of time. Um, I visualize what's going to be going on in the gym, what time I'm going to be training, how many people are going to be there, um, if people are going to be watching, if it's just going to be me. Uh, I visualize how my how tight my back is going to feel before I do the lift, how tight my hamstrings are going to feel before I do the lift. I, vi I visualize how what I'm going to be thinking of, how I'm going to feel, what's going to be running through my mind while doing the exercise before the weight comes off the ground. Um, I basically visualize everything as if it already happened from beginning to end, how it's going to feel as it goes up, what it's going to feel like when I lock it out, the sounds I'm going to make while doing it, what I'm, like I said, what I'm going to think of before and while doing it. Um, it is a hundred percent mental. Um, visualizing it ahead of time is going to be what makes it so you can do it because it's, if you can visualize it, you can probably do it. If, if you're, I'm trying to get four or five for 10 in an incline. If I can't visualize myself doing it before I go for it, I won't get it even if I'm strong enough. If I can visualize myself doing it, it's probably because I can do it. I don't know if that's because I'm strong enough to do it or, you know, whatever the case. But either way, visualize what you're going for long before you do it, how it's going to feel, down to every last single detail. The breakfast you're going to have, the meals you're going to eat the day beforehand, the amount of water you're going to drink, how it's going to feel, what time you're going in, the music you're going to be listening, the clothes you're going to be wearing. The assistance work leading up to it, how your back is going to feel um, before the lift, how your legs are going to feel before the lift, how your warm-ups are going to feel, how the bar is going to bend. Basically, every single thing you can think of, make it a reality in your head before you actually do it. And when it comes time to do it, just let it unfold the way you always imagined it would, basically. It's practically already done if you can visualize it properly. Um, if you're visualizing yourself getting hurt or missing it, you probably will get hurt or miss it. So, um... Obviously, positive thinking is the key there. And really, I'd say that's the same for all top lifters. If they don't think they can do it, they probably can't or won't go for it. Or if they do, they'll fail. So hopefully that helps you guys. I would like to go into greater detail with it, but I don't want to make this video 15 minutes long talking about all my personal shit. So uh, subscribe, guys, and check out my new channel. I'll put a link in the video.